Yo, what's up YouTube? This is Nimbo Soup coming back at you guys with another video. In today's video, we got another guide. This one's on how to fly defensively in War Thunder. So if you ever find yourself in a spot with somebody on your six, you don't want them there, or you want to prevent yourself from being in that spot in the first place, keep watching. This one's going to be good for new and experienced players alike. Everybody's going to learn something, hopefully. I mean, I know I did making this video, but without further ado, please enjoy the video and take care, everyone. In a plane, it's important to position yourself at the start of the match to not put yourself in front of any enemies. But this is War Thunder, and inevitably you'll find yourself in that spot. So what can you do? Return to base? Not anymore, nerds. <laughs> AAA is fixed. Woo! Jay out to save yourself any hits to your ego? Seriously? I shouldn't have even included this. Well, ideally, none of the two. Good players use a little trick called defensive flying to get someone off of their six, or ideally, avoid these situations entirely. I'm Nimbo Soup, and I bring you this guide to make sure that you all have the capacity to deal with players on your six, just like a career pilot might. I want to preface this video by saying that this is aimed at fighters. If you're something else trying to fly defensively, good luck. I don't know. Pitch and roll around a little bit, shoot your gunners, do what you can, but at the end of the day, you're definitely going to need luck regardless of whatever your plan is. This video will discuss and teach what I personally consider to be the two different kinds of defensive flying. The first kind, forward thinking defensive flying, or preemptive defensive flying. In this kind, you're not yet necessarily at the mercy of the other plane. You have options to escape, which you just need to utilize. An example of this is diving away or not taking a fight that you know you have the disadvantage in in the first place. Now, don't just interpret this as me telling you to run from every single fight because you're in a P-47 and can't dogfight Spitfires, but also don't pitch up to take a fight with the guy that's two kilometers above you. You get the point. The second kind of defensive flying, obligatory in my opinion here, is last chance defensive flying. At this point, someone is directly on your six shooting at you, or is diving on you and will catch you eventually. Your only hope here is to roll and pitch around to make their bullets miss, let them overshoot, and if you're lucky enough, maybe even get a shot on them as they do. But for both kinds of defensive flying, it's important to understand one thing. The main goal of this type of flying is to keep yourself alive. Whether this means running in a faster plane to where you can turn around and get your guns back on target, or trying to hit a reversal shot, it depends entirely on the situation. But either way, the optimal outcome is you being alive with no enemies on or chasing you. One of the most important things that I cannot emphasize enough is to know your plane's specific strengths and weaknesses and play it accordingly. Unfortunately, I can't go over every plane and how to fly it in one video, but I'll tell you how to find out for yourself. Check your stat card and use it in test flights. This is extremely important. Good turn times relative to other planes at the same BR are good turn fighters. Good climb rates are good at energy fighting. High rip speeds are good boom and zoomers. You get the gist. This is important because each type of fighter warrants a different play style. In turn fighters, and I know this is crazy guys, but hear me out, turn. You kind of want people to come for you so that you can just reverse them anyways. Everything in this video is still applicable to turn fighters, of course, but at this point, do I even need to say obligatory? Own video required to cover all topics necessary for playing turn fighters. Boom and zoomers, you should be able to dive away, equalize your energy states, and turn around for the kill anyways. Energy fighters, you're somewhere in between those two. Remember, it's best to avoid the situation of someone being on your six entirely. The purpose of preemptive defensive flying is to do exactly that. Obviously, this starts right after takeoff. Usually, climbing straight in, unless you're in the best climbing plane at your BR, is not a good idea. Typically, I try to climb at a heading that's probably 20 degrees or so to the enemy airfield until I can spot some enemies, after which I adjust my course accordingly. Go check out my ARB guide, my previous video, for more on this. If you find yourself dying before you have any impact on the match, it likely has to do with your positioning. Inevitably, though, planes will be above you or at some sort of advantage to you. In this case, play to your own plane's strengths. 
you can still get good positioning. If you're in a faster plane, dive away, separate, equalize energy states, and go from there. Again, the main point of any type of defensive flying is to get yourself out of whatever pickle you're in. Whether that entails getting the person behind you to turn away, letting them overshoot and trying to get a shot on them, or bringing them towards your team. If you're in a slower plane, turn away and hope that they don't chase. If they do, engage tactics that I'm about to speak about in the next section. Reversals can be pretty tricky. First and foremost, set yourself up for success. Make sure that your elevator up and down are bound to keys on your keyboard. This makes it easier to pitch and roll around people's shots. Also, while you're trying to reverse someone on your six, it's very important to be aware of your surroundings. Keep your head on a swivel. You should keep an eye on the person shooting at you to avoid their nose and their shots, of course, but also don't hit the ground because your camera is turned around. Last, manual engine controls can be useful here. The only thing about mech that I'm going to mention in this guide is prop pitch. 100% prop pitch acts as a very effective air brake in some planes. Use this accordingly. The goal here is to make somebody overshoot so that you can get them to fly away, or maybe even if you're lucky enough, get behind them and shoot them down. Do this by keeping enough speed to maneuver effectively, but not so much that you compress or that you have more than the person behind you. Air brakes, throttle control, and prop pitch using mech can all be useful for this, just like I said before, use sparingly and accordingly. Maneuver out of reach of people's guns. There's no real way to do or teach this, but try to be as annoying as you can. Tap your elevator keys, especially negative elevator, frequently. Combine elevator pulls and ailerons, but obviously don't flat spin, and watch your speed. Reach a happy medium where the enemy is faster and is overshooting, but you can still maneuver well out of reach of their guns. Movement in a 3D axis is highly recommended. Don't just turn back and forth, combine turns with rolls and even rudder. Passing above and below the nose is highly recommended as well. Also, time and engage in turns that will set you up to be directly behind the enemy when they overshoot, so that you can get a shot as soon as possible, hopefully, if you're lucky enough, before they get enough separation to avoid your shots. To wrap up this video, most importantly, if there is one thing you're going to take away from this video, it's that you should prevent bad situations from ever happening in the first place. But <laughs> if you find yourself in one, understand what you need to do given what plane you're in. Should you run away because you're faster? Should you bait them into a dogfight because you're a turn fighter? It all depends on your plane and your situation. Have your elevator up and down bound to your keyboard. This makes turning while looking behind easy. Keep your situational awareness as close to 100% as possible by keeping your head on a swivel. As soon as you're slow is when you're going to get third partied. Trust me, I've been playing this game a very long time. Avoiding shots is going to come with more experience, but to explain it bluntly, be as annoying as possible. Use your negative elevator frequently. One thing I didn't yet talk about, give your enemies as small a target as possible if getting shot at is unavoidable. Do this by using ailerons to rotate your plane on its side relative to their plane. This is only a last ditch effort to avoid damage and cannot be relied on whatsoever. Other than that though, I hope everybody enjoyed this guide. Thanks for watching everybody, I hope everyone was able to learn something from this video whether you're new or you're experienced. Check out the description for links to my discord server and also my twitch stream, um, I hope I can catch everyone over at both of those places, it would be very nice. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed, also leave a comment with anything you'd like to see in the future, or any way I can improve the content. But without further ado, I'll catch you guys in the next video. This is Nimbo Soup, Nimbo signing out. Peace boys.